hi guys today we are going to discuss about uh, how we are making connection with sql database from ua path for that first we need to install go to the manages package and we need to install the packages so the packages name database dot activities this i have been already installed and click install button and then save so that you can get the database activities you can go in the activities panel and you can see all these are all the database activities and to get a connection with uh, sql you have to take the connect activity and i have already installed my sql here now we have to give connection string provider name and the database connection as an output so I will explain you how to get the connection string and uh, how to get the provider name as well. Click on the configuration and you can get the pop up window there and click on the connection wizard. And here you can have different sources to select based on uh, which database you are working on. So we have total uh, four databases here. So you have to select based on your uh, database which we have installed in your VM. So go ahead and take Microsoft SQL Server right now because I am using that and you have to provide the data provider also. So always choose to select data provider for SQL Server not this so OLEDDP. From there click on OK and then under you will get another pop up. So here you have to give the server name. So how to get the server name I will, I will give you how like you know go to the sql and click on the connect here you can see the server name so basically this was the server name which you have to give it in the ui path go here and give your server name and then it will ask either the windows authentication or the username and password by using the sql server authentication so i am choosing right now using the use windows authentication and you have and you want to select the database which you are trying to have a connection in the SQL server so I have multiple databases where we can have a connect with the SQL server so I can choose which database I want to select and I have to get the connection so I will use the test DB as my database name so you given all these details so you just want to make sure the connection has been done by the SQL database server on the UA path. You have to click on the test connection. So you got the message stating test connection succeeded. It means you have got the connection from UA path to SQL server. Click on OK now. And then this was the connection string. It was automatically generated. So if you know this string next time you can give the server name by editing uh, you know the my server name and this test db and the integration is true always if you have to get the connection so and then click on ok now you can see the connection string and the provider name both have been selected and the output of this you know you have to give the variable as you like the name i can give you it as control k db connection and the data table is created sorry database connection output is created and the variable type will be the database here you can choose yeah this is the variable type and the database connection we path dot database dot database connection and then so you can see the connection has been done so now we need to make a you know like you know you have to get the data from the sql and you have to make it some changes in the sql you have to use the activities from like you know execute query and execute non query i will explain you about the execute query now execute query the same connection string and existing connection and the provider name so if you don't have the connection activity before that you have to give the connection string and the provider name there if you have already have a connection string with you by using the connect activity 
you have to go and directly you can give the variable which you have uh, taken from the connect activity as a connection db connection yes if you given this existing connection you don't have to provide the connection string details and the provider name and the output of the execute query will always be a data table i can give it as dt as of now so i am trying to fetch a data from a specific table name i have a multiple tables which is already created here i can say excel to db table i can take it this from this table i need to get the data and we need to clarify how many rows are there in the sql server and how many rows we are getting by using the ui path this i am going to explain you now so you have to pass the query in this tab and we click on edit query and you have to write the query select the query is select star from and you have the table name which you have uh, which you are trying from the sql excel to db take a select of thousand rows you can see the rows are 24 here and i will show you the data and its count as well in this video and my table name is this copy this and paste it in here now what is this issue we just have to give it in a double quotes click on ok so now we have taken a connection from ua parts to sql connection string provider name and its database connection and we have given the database connection here and then output created data table and the query we are also given here so this query will help you to fetch the data whatever available in the specific table name in a sql server so i will show you keep the message box so how many rows we need to get we need to get 24 rows because this was the table we are taken from the sql server and its count is total 24 you can see the message in the message box it is showing like 24 is the count of uh, data table rows we have in the sql server so this was the end so make sure whenever you are having the database connection already taken from the connect activity you don't have to give connection string and the provider name and the connection string and the provider name as i show you i'm recapping again at the end of the video connection wizard select your database select the provider name okay and the server name as i told you this is your server name take this copy and select the database name click on the test make sure you are uh, before clicking on okay make sure that the connection has been success or not by clicking on the text connection click on okay okay and then execute so this is all about how to connect sql database by using ua path and how to get the data from there see you